Podcast. Good evening. As if paying for school wasn't already difficult enough, now thousands of military students are losing funding as part of Washington's sequester cuts. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers talked with IPFW's military services staff to learn more about how this news will affect those students. Aaron? Mark and Heather, with cuts to the military tuition assistance program, some of these students risk not being able to finish school. We're going to have a lot of disappointed students. The Army and Marines announced they will not be taking any new applications for a tuition assistance program for current members of the armed forces. It means that, that some students who have been expecting to be able to enroll will not be able to. IPFW has around 200 military students who receive those benefits. Our office is very much accustomed to helping students with those applications, and right now it is at a complete stop. The cuts do not affect the GI Bill, which is supposed to be for veterans who've already served their time and now want to transition to civilian life, nor will it affect those students who are already receiving the money. The benefits that are affected are those students who are National Guard who are using those benefits for tuition, and it's just simply been cut off. Vaughn says Indiana has one of the highest numbers of National Guard students in the country, and the damage from these cuts could be vast. When I spoke to a member of the National Guard, he said the money military students get for classes is around $4,500 a semester. It threatens graduation rates because if students don't have the tuition money, they can't enroll and therefore they stop. Vaughn said the Indiana National Guard supplemental grant has also been depleted, so military students wouldn't even be able to pull resources from that. Instead, their only options for paying for school are to get a loan, which isn't an option for many, a Pell Grant if they qualify, or pick up more jobs. To better the military, but to work towards getting a degree. So it's uh, very bad news for our students. Staff say they have no idea how long the implemented cuts will last, but say it's hurting the future of the military. Heather? Thanks, Erin.